So iOS users are divided. They either love or hate the new updates to the Photos application in iOS 18. So my top comments on my YouTube video, here's one with 500 plus likes. Not going to lie, I'm not a big fan of the new gallery update. Here's another comment with 122 likes. The largest flaw within iOS 18 is the Photos app. Completely ridiculous update to an app that was pretty much perfect the way it was. Now again, there's two different types of users. Those who love the new Photos app in iOS 18 and those who completely despise it and hate it. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'm going to show you how to revert the experience to better suit you in iOS 18. So if you were used to the iOS 17 style photos application in iOS 18, you can get a very similar experience and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Now, according to Apple, the idea behind the new design in the photos app is to have a simple one scroll experience inside of the photos app. So you have all your photos, you continue to scroll through your albums, recent days, people, pin collection, memories, trips, featured photos, media types, utilities, and wallpaper suggestions. But that can be a bit much, and some people find this complex and crowded at some time. So if you want to simplify the user experience, and the great thing about the Photos app in iOS 18 is that it's fully customizable, you can actually simplify this to a very similar experience as you had with the Photos app in iOS 17. And let me show you how simple it is to do this. So you want to scroll all the way to the bottom of the Photos app, and right here you'll find the custom customize and reorder options. Click into that and right here you can rearrange anything by tapping and holding in a particular category just like so. You can rearrange those just like that. But in order to simplify things, I recommend you only keep three things in place. Albums, media types, and utilities. So let's remove everything else here from the list and let me show you how simple you can make this application in iOS 18. And again, that's one of the best parts about the app that you can fully customize it to better suit you, right? So if you want something very simple, I think this is the easiest way to do it. So right here, when we go into our photos, now we have the year, month, and all, and we also have the sort button right here. Once you click on the X, it brings you to all your albums, very similar to iOS 17, I guess, in a way. And then you have your media types where you have videos, selfies, live photos, portraits, you can swipe over for the panoramic, slow-mo, screenshot, screen recording, and so forth, as you can see right here. And under utilities, you have your hidden, recently deleted, duplicate, and receipts, and you can swipe over for more options as well. And now it is super simple. We now have our photos on the top with the year, month, and all, and then we can tap the X here or continue to scroll, see the albums, and then the media types, and that's basically it. Now you can also jump into your avatar here on the top right of the screen and also hide the hidden album, so remove it from the entire list. You also have different options that you can play around with right here, show the uh, featured content and show the holiday events, as you can see, but this is going to be basically the easiest way to simplify the user experience of the Photos app in iOS 18. Basically removing everything, only leaving the albums, media types, and your utility. Let me know what you think about the Photos app in iOS 18. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.